All right, this is strictly for Facebook because it's on my um, Bible study channel. Hang on a second. I can't lower this bar. Y'all can't see it, but I can. All right. So this is for the Facebook crew. Um, we know about the name of the movie called The Color of Bunny. Tom Cruise, Paul Newman. And we know that the color of money, that's the color of fire, the chiefs. We know about Bane, the fire rises and all that. We know about the phoenix rising from the ashes. And we know about the Joker burning money. Again, chiefs' colors are the color of fire. The eagle's colors are... Now, this is just that Robert Langdon stuff, okay, like trying to connect some dots. In other words, are we that close to the economy crashing because of the fake stage daily wound right eye event to the Antichrist? Because in the iPad Goat video, as soon as he goes down, it says markets crash war. So you see how this is the color of money, the eagles, and the eagle on the back of the dollar bill is actually the phoenix rising from the ashes. And here's another shot of the color of money. And we're going to tie all this together here in a second. So here's your color of money. Another one, color of money. Are the eagle's colors, kind of that grayish green. And here's your color of fire, okay, like the red and the yellow. And that's Chief's colors. So then the phoenix rising from the ashes, this is your eagle. This is your bird rising from the ashes. And there's your fire. And so we remember when the Joker was burning the money. It gets better <laughs> because... A long, long time ago, in 1988, the Donnie Darko year, they had the phoenix rising with money burning. In the Donnie Darko year of 1988. 88 is Trump and Sipple Gematria, 88 miles per hour. They admitted that Back to the Future 2 was based off Trump. Biff was based off Trump. Biff had a casino and a gigantic gold tee on his desk. And in the movie, Marty gets fired and it says, you're fired, you're fired. And you're fired was coming off different fax machines and printouts. And it was all over the place. And of course, two decades, three decades later, there's Trump saying you're fired on a TV show. All the world's a stage. The AI has scripted every bit of this that goes to the machine, so on and so forth. We know from the movie The Prestige that Christian Bale, who played Batman and posed with Trump at Trump Tower, when Trump Tower was used in The Dark Knight Rises, we know that Christian Bale was cloned in a movie with the same director and the same co-star, Michael Caine, same director, uh, Christopher Nolan. Christian Bale was cloned by who else? Tesla. And Trump's uncle allegedly knew Tesla. I mean, all the world's a stage, of course. And you get this uh, lotus, the lotus plant, or the lotus flower. After the scarab, the lotus flower in Egypt is the most important symbol of rebirth, of resurrection, and regeneration. And all the presidents... And all the popes have represented Trump through the years. They represent, of course, the Antichrist. And 007, the seventh king of Mystery Babylon, he was asked, what's your hobby? And he said, resurrection. And he had the right eye wound over his right eye because he was shot at the beginning of the movie. And he was saved by what? The divine feminine or the yoni hand signal. Waterfall is one of the most important symbols for the divine feminine, or one of their gigantic symbols. I, I saw that on a 
I just Google divine feminine on YouTube just and you get real divine feminine worshipers will sit there and tell you about their religion. And it's the religion that runs this earth. It's mystery Babylon. It's the mystery religion straight out of the Bible. Uh, the grove worship, your Christmas tree, Asherah. It's all about Mother Earth, the Mother Goddess, the Divine Feminine, so on and so forth. So that's your 666 Yoni, or the female reproductive, as he went down a waterfall after being shot in his right eye in Skyfall, where he said resurrection was his hobby. And you see the divine in the opening credits, um, Adele's theme song, which won an Oscar. You see the Yoni is what saves him because he is going to meld with the goddess or Lucifer and be indwelt with the spirit of Antichrist. He doesn't really rise from the dead. It's a body double clone type switch. Palpatine was said to have been cloned while everybody thought he was dead, but no, he was alive. And, you know, the Antichrist who can make war with the beast, he's going to put an end to World War III. His right eye wound, fake staged event, is what kicks off World War III. There's Trump giving the lotus flower, and of course, they were dressed like the Adams family, and they visited a pope on Wednesday, dressed like the Adams family. And here's your lotus flower. It's a glass sculpture, lotus flower, whatever. And... Um, there they are visiting on a Wednesday as the Adams family. So, um, Donald Trump gives Pope lotus flower, lotus sculpture, excuse me. So, portrays lotus plant, bronze sculpture of lotus flower. Lotus represents rebirth, but the scarab is right there with it. And the AI produced video called I Pet Goat because George Bush down in Sarasota, Donnie Darko, remember the, the bookstore was at the Sarasota Mall. And uh, Donnie's killed by a jet engine, jets, twin towers, twin trumps, you know, clone, all that. Twins, body double, whatever you want to call it. And so Bush is down in Sarasota during 9-11 and they're reading the pet goat and of course goats represent non-sheep and bush is in that classroom they're reading the pet goat so this is an ai created cartoon called i pet goat 2 meaning the next 9-11 and it shows the towers falling and so forth but so this is his regeneration process and you can see he's attached to the technology which is how everybody will get their body being used as an avatar. They will be possessed by the fallen angels. And uh, I will do a video again. I've done one in the past where um, how James Bond in Skyfall is riding, standing up in a boat like he's in a trance. I think it's in Shanghai or Singapore, one of them. And he is mimicking this character, this Antichrist standing in the boat. The, there's three different characters that are repping Trump or the Antichrist. It's the, the boy getting or, or the baby in the egg that's getting, you know, that's attached to the technology. The man in the boat and the boy with the right eye scarab. And here he is right there. And there's the scarab. If I can, um, you see it crawling. You see the right eye wound straight out of Zechariah eleven seventeen, And so that's the scarab, which represents rebirth, regeneration. And of course, he rises up out of the abyss, North Pole, Satan, Santa. That's cold. It's snowy. That's Mr. Freeze because the abyss is frozen. Day of the Dead. And there he's rising. And, you know, in the dark night rises, Christian Bale literally climbed up out of a pit.
<laughs> the Dark Knight Rise. Can't make it up. And the movie was released on the third day after the Dark Knight. So the Dark Knight is about the right eye utterly dark, and then the Dark Knight rises on the third day. Two days later, Jesus rose. The Antichrist will spiritually rise. That's when he is given a crown. He doesn't earn it because he doesn't really rise from the dead. But the Dark Knight came out July 18th. Two days later, the Dark Knight Rises came out July 20th. Yes, four years apart, both on leap years, 2008 to 2012. But notice 718 to 720. On the third day, he rose. Dark Knight Rises. So all we're doing, we're just doing simple Robert Langdon style, you know, the Da Vinci Code Robert Langdon character where you just connect dots. That's all. That mean we're right about anything. But these are legitimate clues. And we always do this to stay focused on the fact that it is coming. So you will not be in shock when it takes place because most of the earth will see Trump go down and they will start to see the chaos in the streets. And But you will know that, um, that soon enough, two billion people are going to die. That's the pale horse, one fourth of the earth. Death due to war and famine. Red horse after the crowning white horse. It's red horse, black horse, pale horse, which is war, famine, death. And there's the right eye because the Antichrist has his right eye utterly darkened and his arm clean dried up. So Trump's injuries will be to his right eye and his arm. And he will have seemingly returned from the dead. Deadly wound was healed. That's your 666 chapter, Revelation 13. Read it. It's not a long chapter at all. It's 18 verses. Revelation 13, 3, um, 13, 12, 13, 14, I'll speak about the deadly wound that was healed. Or, and why it says that is the world will think it's healed. That's God's strong delusion for God will send them a strong delusion that they will believe a lie that he really did rise from the dead. Jesus said it was a, a, will be a deception so great that if it were possible, his very elect would be fooled. His chosen few of the narrow way would be fooled. You get to the Economist magazine. We already, I think I already showed this. Yeah. I already showed you all the Economist. I think I've showed you every photo down here. George Washington, all the presidents represent the Antichrist. He's a god. George Washington is. He's up here at the clouds, the angels on top of the Capitol. Uh, so all the presidents, and there's George W. Bush, George Washington Bush, George Bush kicks off IPET GOAT. Um, I will put it down in the top comment on my Facebook channel. If I put this on YouTube, I will put this down in the description. But IPET GOAT begins with a goat with 666 barcode on its forehead. And then it's got the money sign, the ring, money, money, money. That was Trump's theme song. And uh, there's the money sign, I pet goat two. You see that all the world's a stage. Satan is controlling the strings. And of course that's done through the AI. And the first character is Bush, and he's got a D. People go, well, that's a dunce hat. That's why it's a D. No, it's for Donald. He is repping Donald. He is George W. He is George Washington Bush. And you can see over here where it says, well, there's the shark beast out of the sea. It's what Jaws was about, the movie Jaws. That's a long story. All this stuff is very, um, there's Obama, pops up next. He's winking because, and who's third in line? All Everything happens in threes. And after Obama comes 
this room and you see the staghorns over Trump's head and you see Trump's hand signal that he sits with. And then you see over Trump, it says exit and it's going to light up in red with the rabbit up at the top. And it's just now year of the rabbit. And they just had a, a staged event. I'm more than sure it was a false flag staged event to kick off the year of the rabbit out in California. And then you have your coming total solar eclipse on Hitler's birthday on April 20th, Steve Spurrier's birthday. The devil's advocate was plucked out of Gainesville, Florida. They said, go Gators at the beginning of the movie while they were pouring shots. Florida reps, devil's advocate, University, Alabama. Their big fraternity is called the Machine. It's one of the most powerful fraternities on earth. Probably bigger than Yale's skull and bones. Um, right there with it. And um, Alabama represents Satan. And they referred to Nick Saban as the devil himself. And James Franklin had to apologize for that. Another guy, another former coach called him Nicky Satan. It was a Gator coach, of course. LSU, they have the right eye in the middle of their field. James Bond is always shooting the right eye that's bleeding at the beginning of every James Bond movie. 007, the seventh king of mystery Babylon. But anyway, you see the, the rabbit, year of the rabbit, and then this... That's a corona that's around Lily with the apple, and she becomes uh, depressed and sad. And we would suspect that's the Trump event. And then she drops the rap, uh, the the rabbit. She drops the apple, and it starts to roll. And Obama starts to sweat when he sees it, and it's the lotus flower which Trump gave the Pope because the rebirthing is taking place. And there's a coin right down here by Obama's foot. And that's your Phoenix coin rising from the ashes. And you notice it's at the 138 mark. And 138 is Donald Trump and simple gematria, where A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, Z is 26. And I wonder what's going on on 127, because that's a day we're definitely looking at. 131 we're looking at, which is, it comes to a stop at 130, rolls backwards. So it's 131 and him rising on Groundhog Day is possible. Him going down on Groundhog Day is possible. So that apple opens, it splits. Uh, at 131. So that's very big. And uh, the Lotus and the regeneration begins at 134 or 133. Let me slow it down. There it is, 133, 133, and it opens at 134. Yeah, it just starts to crack open at 133, 134. Oh, I didn't slow it down, did I? Oh, I sped it up. Goofball. Folks be like, he thinks he's so smart. No, I'll tell you straight up. I'm about as dumb as a box of rocks. So it's at 133. Yeah, it's 134 when it opens. Okay. And then there's that coin down at Obama's foot. And I think that's part of this whole, oh, I didn't show you all the markets crash going through. And there's, you know, they show. Now that's could be what the moon will look like. That's not an eclipse, I do not think. I think what that is, is like a waning or crescent moon. So it's always interesting to look at the shape of the moon. 
So he's summoning like these spirits. And of course, that was all a big psychological operation, you know. Oh, we killed him, you know, blah, 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 blah. New York appears to be underwater. We've always been waiting on that big tsunami. It's always, they can create tsunamis, earthquakes. I mean, they're going to create cataclysm because they're going to claim that Mother Earth has finally had it. And uh, so there's the egghead being, it's being transformed through the AI. And right when he pops out, a horn blows. And of course, a Trump is a horn. Jesus said the Antichrist would be in his own name. Mm -hmm. Trump Tower has five multiple addresses, 721 through 725 Fifth Avenue. And it just so happens that in the book of Daniel, the Antichrist is called the horn. And it's in Daniel 721 through 725, which matches Trump Tower's address. And of course, Trump Tower has the Yoni. The Yoni that we talked about, and you see right here, Trump Tower, 721 through 725 Fifth Avenue, Manhattan. It's six by six by six bushes. Bush, again, the divine feminine, the female reproductive, which is what the Yoni 666 hand signal is. This is also 666. 666 is the Yoni. The Yoni is 666. That's what this is all about. It's always about Mother Earth, their goddesses, Wonder Woman. You know, remember when Lady Gaga had the lightning bolts at the Super Bowl and she leaped down from this high, gigantic scaffolding she was on over the stadium. She leaped all the way down to the stadium with wires. That was Satan falling like lightning straight up. I mean, they do not play. Um, the other entertainer came out as woman that rides the beast. Oh, Katy Perry. I mean, but here's, uh, you're fired. You're fired on the TV, you know, with the whole um, Back to the Future 2, which was based off Trump. I guess I'll do that Google search for you since we're live. Back to the Future 2 was based, Biff was based off Donald Trump. Back to the Future writer reveals Biff Tannen was inspired by President U.S. President Donald Trump, of course. And by the way, that's also in Rolling Stone magazine. Back to the Future writer, Biff is Donald Trump. Everything's everybody's Trump. That's what you'll find out. That it's always been about Trump. Please don't forget that Trump's mother's mom. Trump's mom's name was Mary, like Jesus' mom's name was Mary, and his dad was Fred Christ Trump. And this guy did a painting, a mural. I forget his name. It's escaping me. Long, Benjamin F. Long. He did a mural called Mary with Child. Well, there's a total lunar eclipse over Mary. Trump was born under a total lunar eclipse. Trump is 88 in simple gematria, where A is 1, B is 2, and all that. And that's what out of time and back to the future is about, because when we go Trump, we are out of time. And the whole world has started getting crazy. The left went way left. The right went way right. And all the world's a stage. I can't watch a TV show. I pick up on every single thing they're saying. I haven't found anybody that is in-depth with the word of God, along with the world around us like you get like what we do either on my youtubes or on my facebook there's nobody doing it which makes me feel very vulnerable but you do what you do until your moment is up it's all about the twin trumps it's always trump twin symbolism i've put those videos many times on my facebook or angel white which is an ai youtube site has put together a montage. You can you can go to the Peyton Manning Eli commercial with the Oreos, where they go double Trump, and the you know another Trump clone spins around, and he goes, "It's me," and he's imitating Trump. And Jimmy Fallon was dressed as Trump when Trump was on the show, and they played mirror images of each other, and uh, that's just that's what it is. It's a double. It's going to be 
That's why in Revelation 17, it's it refers to an eighth antichrist. Well, it was thought it was only seven. But the then it says the eighth is of the seven because the eighth was the seventh all along. It was a body double switch or clone or, you know, they said they cloned a sheep in 1995. Well, sheep represent church. So that was a middle finger to the church, of course, like everything is. That's why they bastardized wheat and made it toxic um, because wheat represents the church. Many people are allergic to wheat, but it's toxic to everybody. When I Googled Yoni a long time ago, this image came out. There's no telling what the AI will give you now, but that's the Divine Feminine or the Yoni. Mom's, mom's from Scotland. Uh, Daniel Craig's James Bond's mom was from Scotland. They In the movie Skyfall, they went back to his house. This This was a stag, which represents regeneration, rebirth, because their horns come off and rebirth. And this was at Bond's mom's home in Scotland. And the staghorns were all over the opening credits of the movie. And remember the staghorns and I pet goat that I showed you just for a split second up here right over Trump's head. Back to the future, of course, the Twin Pines Mall goes to the Lone Pines Mall. That's the Twin Towers going to One World Trade Center, which is the Antichrist rising. That's what One World Trade Tower is all about. 9-11, the seventh month is September. October, octagon, octopus was once the eighth. They added Jul July and August for Julius Augustus Caesar. But, you know, decameter, decade, December was the 10th, November 9th, October 8th, September 7th. So 9-11 was really 7-11 for the beast rising. Revelation 11, 7. And um, because what came out of 9-11 was the Antichrist rising, which was one world trade tower. And Trump was a gigantic proponent of how it needed to be built for New York and for the meaning of it. I guess we'll close with Biff as Trump. And we see the hair. We see the gigantic gold T in the money sign. He owned a casino. In the movie, The Devil's Advocate, of course, they filmed scenes in his penthouse made of gold. That's a simple Google search. But his name's even mentioned in the movie, The Devil's Advocate. Donald Trump was supposed to be here tonight, but he had a business emergency. 88 keys on a piano. Trump's trumpets. Showing y'all many times Trump saying he's Batman. And of course, there was Batman contagion. They were all wearing masks. This is a very old DC comic book with the Batman contagion. Of course, while Trump was president, the economy was great. Everything was perfect. And oops, they locked down the earth just like that because they can wait till, wait till he goes down and see what's coming because that was all a ritual for what's coming. Napoleon, Alexander the Great, look, it's very, very, Napoleon, Alexander the Great, Donald Trump, we're all cut from the same cloth. Various kings of previous kings of mystery Babylon. Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump. Yes. Are you Batman? I am. <laughs> so there's your Batman contagion. He's always been Batman. Here's your Oreo is me. Here's your double Trump. Peyton and Eli Manning, of course, heavily made men in the mystery Babylonian system. You can't get enough of them. They're everywhere. Trump's hosted Saturday Night Live. Peyton's hosted Saturday Night Live. I think maybe Eli has. Saturday Night Live is in Studio 8H. H is the eighth, Num eighth letter. Studio 8H is really Studio 88, of course. Everything is about Trump. And they just laugh. I 
Uh oh, twin Trump symbolism. Me? No way. It's Donald Trump. And that's basically how the Antichrist, that's the, the world will be shown a strong delusion that they will believe a lie. They'll think he's risen from the dead. It's really that simple. How crazy is that? All right. Love y'all.